This one's for the single ladies, and I want to talk about this because I keep seeing videos about entering this soft feminine side, harnessing your femininity in order to find a high value man. And while I agree with that wholeheartedly, I'm just saying, why can't we spread a message about just accepting the fact that it's okay to be single, especially when you're in your 20s? You are truly at your most content and peace when you are alone. And I think people need to learn how to feel lonely and live a life where they can do things by themselves in order to find happiness in someone else. But right now in my 20s, I think I think it's okay to be a little selfish and to actually take this time to lay the foundation of you so that the healthy you can accept a healthy relationship with someone else. What do you think it's going to look like for you now in the dating market as a single woman yeah, with three uh, children? Try to fuck. And, and you, right, you, you, you've, you've left, a, you left the man that committed to you. You had three, three of your children. You've left him. You're now on the dating market with three children. What do you think it's going to look like for you on the dating market? The desert. The desert. It's the desert. What do you think is better out here? The desert. Uh, it, it, bear liars and so, desert. So, <laughs> but that's down. where I think that is crazy because I think because I, I I understand I've been in a long term relationship I've come out of it it didn't work um, and you do look at the time and I think that was the biggest frustration the time the effort the years the, just everything um, but then it's do you then stay with somebody and just settle down and just be that person and yes. Grow? Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. But that's no, why I'm, then seventy percent of people <laughs> cheat. No, no, duty is more. Duty, no. duty is it's duty is more important than happiness. It's not duty. about you. Like once you have a family, it's not about you anymore. Yep. You you come second to the family. Yep. And wow. I can respect that. I can, to an extent. Yeah, to an extent. But ultimately, Most we are all it. individuals of our own purpose yeah, in life. Mm -hmm. One extent. at a time. One at a time. To say you're gonna have to buy that dog and dialogue. If your children aren't. last TikTok that I just made was me putting on a sweatshirt to cover up my waist even though I'm in leggings because the last time I wore a sports bra and leggings on a walk I got catcalled a lot and it was really annoying and I didn't want it to happen again so a preventative measure I shouldn't have to do but I have to do and I'm on a walk now and I passed this man because he was like walking slower than me and I didn't want to do that awkward thing so I just passed him and then like five minutes later he passed me and he was like 20 feet in front of me and I could tell that he like continued to like look back at me and like we're approaching like this dark tunnel on this trail that I'm on and I'm like absolutely not I'm not walking through this dark tunnel with this man that seems to be like, creeping on me so I like slow down and so he slows down and I'm just like fuck so we're like about to this like interchange which like going through the tunnel takes me back to my like apartment area so like, but naturally I was like, no, so like I was going to take the longer route and this man stops and he goes, well, since we're both walking in the same direction, can I get your number? And like my go-to answer whenever anyone asks me this, is like, I have a girlfriend. And he was like, but you have to be in a little bit. And I was like, no, I'm serious. I have a girlfriend. I'm not interested. And he goes, but are you married? Do you have kids? It doesn't really matter unless... He goes, it doesn't matter unless you have either of those. And I was like, no, I'm serious. I'm not giving you my number. And he goes, okay, be like that and storms off. But it's just like, like one, why can't no be enough? If I tell you no, I'm not giving you my number. Why do I have to then explain my sexuality? Two, tell you whether I'm married or not I have kids. Because that's what defines being off limits to someone. It's just like, what the fuck? Anyways, I thought that this would be a good follow up to the TikTok that I just posted because literally what I tried to prevent from happening still fucking happened and it honestly happened 10 times worse than I could have imagined it. Oh, and I had to wait a good like 15 to 20 minutes waiting before I felt comfortable to like continue walking because I wanted him to be like a good distance in front of me so I wouldn't have to further interact with him or wouldn't follow me or just be weird again. Hey, that's all I hate, man. The worst part about being single is waking up super skinny. You're feeling yourself. 
Your body is so hot and there's no one to see it. No one to see all your hard work pay off. If I was your bitch, <laughs> we could go get for gifts. No cap. I just want my own nigga. Hey guys, so, um, so I'm currently in a hotel right now by myself. We are in Oklahoma visiting family. And my sister and her husband went to go have lunch with family or whatever and friends. So I'm in a hotel by myself. And whenever I get somewhere by myself, especially in my hometown where like I used to talk to guys and different things like that, I start to become lonely. And I don't know if I told you guys before, but I struggle with getting on dating apps and having men validate me and things like that. Sorry, I'm talking fast because I'm hungry and the time's running out. Anyways, um, so I have a bracelet that obviously I make, but I wear one and it says be content and, and it's from Philippians 411. And it just reminds me to be content with where God has me. And that although I may feel lonely, that I don't have to act on those things I don't have to act on me being lonely like I I always try to seek God first whenever I'm feeling lonely because that's a void that I'm trying to fill with other things and so I don't know if you guys struggle with that but I thought I'd share that that's something I'm currently struggling struggling with right now at this moment Ugh, nobody wants to date me I want to date you I find you really attractive and I think that we should go out Go away. Please remember to text your single friends and check in on them because they don't have anyone checking in on them. Yeah. I don't know if it's that people think that people talk to your single friends more than they do. But, like, no one talks to us. I had a moment today where I felt kind of depressy and I was like... Who could I reach out to? And there's any number of friends of mine that I know would be really wonderful and kind and accepting and affirming if I reached out to them. But at the same time, I know that they all have so much going on in their lives. I don't want to bother them. They have other priorities and that's okay and they should. But when you're single, that's it. It's you. So it can be really hard to reach out.